What is going on guys? I'm Consumer Tech Review and today I'm going to be going over the top five best budget smart home accessories for your home. And if at any point during the video you want to check out any of the five items I'm going to be talking about, there's Amazon links below for the US, UK and Canada. But let's get into the number five spot. And that is going to be Sengled Smart Bulbs. Now there's a lot of smart bulbs out there. If you guys don't know what smart bulbs are, it's basically where a light bulb can change color or change its tone or change its brightness all through a smart assistant like an Amazon Echo or a Google Assistant. Now, Sengled makes the best one for the price and quality of it, and they also come with a hub right out of the box so you're ready to go. You plug the hub in, you have to put your internet password in, and then it connects to your internet, and it's basically done. And then after that, whenever you get a Sengled smart product, it's going to hook up to the hub very, very quickly, much easier than other smart devices. Sometimes they take a while, sometimes you have to pair them. This is super easy to pair. So whether you're tech savvy or not, it'll be very easy for you to do this. Now a huge pro of smart bulbs is you can change it to any color you want, whether that is like a red, a blue, or just a natural white or a warm tone white. But the biggest pro of this is you can change any lamp you have that you currently have into a smart device because all you do is put the uh, light bulb in it and then it turns the light bulb and the whole lamp into a smart device that you can control through your Echo or Google Assistant or you can use the app which comes with it that's very easy to pinpoint a color or a warmness setting or a brightness setting. And these do get just as bright, if not brighter than many traditional light bulbs. But moving on to the number four spot, that is gonna be Amazon Smart Pugs or Sang led smart plugs. Now these are literally just a plug that you can plug into an outlet and then you plug something else into that and all it does is control if there's electricity going to it or if there's not electricity going to it. The reason this is important and it's cool and it's smart is because you can have a lamp that is normal that doesn't have a smart bulb that doesn't have something else maybe Christmas tree lights or string lights you plug it into this and you can now tell your smart assistant to either turn on or off that light you can rename the plug to whatever it is you can have it say that this is a light so you can say you can say hey echo or hey Google turn off the Christmas tree and it'll do that I actually did that over December now the reason I say either the Amazon brand smart plug or the Sengled brand smart plug is because if you have the hub, if you got the uh, LED lights before that can change, it'll come with the hub and then you can plug your plugs in very easily. The Sengleds are cheaper, but you need that hub. So if you haven't got the lights, you're gonna need to get those. While the Amazon branded one, you don't need a hub. However, they are a little bit more expensive. Moving on to the number three spot, this is Govi TV RGB lights. And you might be wanting to click off because you're like, oh, I know about RGB lights, but these are very special. These aren't just a backlight for your TV. A lot of people have them. A lot of people know about them. These lights actually use a camera that you mount on the top of your TV. It's not intrusive at all. That actually track colors on your TV at all of the different edges and will then display that color at the same edge of your TV around it. And it's so, so cool. Now in this, it has two modes. It has a TV mode and a game mode. So if you're playing a video game, you'll actually have the different colors along the edges. So if there's an explosion and it's like a red fire at the bottom right, then there's going to be red at the bottom right, but maybe it's blue skies at the top left of your screen and it's gonna be blue up there. Uh, now this is because these are actually RGB ICs, which are more expensive, that can actually change the different colors along the entire strip instead of just being one color or the other. Now for movie mode, it does the same thing, but it does a collective color, so it's not as uh, crazy to your eyes, and this works well with watching movies. And as far as gaming, it works really well that way. So I constantly switch between them, whether I'm watching a movie or gaming, but I will tell you, watching The Mandalorian with these lights is so cool because when a TIE fighter comes by and it's shooting its red lasers, the whole room just flashes in red and it, adds to the presence like you cannot believe. Now beyond that mode and the really coolness of having the RGBIC, these are better than your typical LED RGB strips because they're actually much, much brighter, like much, like probably three times as bright as your typical RGB strip. Um, as well as that, you do have the customizability of the different sections if you want that. So you can actually set without having a mode, you can actually set it to one color or you can set it to like, uh, rainbow color, whatever you really want, because you can actually, through their app, customize what colors and where along the strip, not just one color overall, which is really epic. So you don't have to use those modes if you don't want to. 
Now moving to the number two spot, this is the Teotronics Wi-Fi mesh system. Most of you guys are probably just using the Wi-Fi router that your internet service provider gave you. However, if you switch to a mesh system, it's a lot better. Instead of having a signal that just emits from one spot, in a mesh system, it actually forms a grid. So you're getting much better connectivity with a much bigger range that's way more consistent. Now, as well as this, you can actually set multiple of these Teotronics uh, little routers throughout your house to much more extend the range up to like 6,000 square feet. So if you guys do like in your apartment or in your house, you have sections that are kind of dead zones that you don't have Wi-Fi or it's not a really strong connection, you get one of these systems and you put it down and it is a little bit pricey, but for what it is, it's budget. It's much less expensive than like what comes from Amazon or uh, Google. And you set these up and you just eliminate dead zones. I have none where I live right now. Not a single dead zone everywhere in my apartment. It is super fast Wi-Fi. And as well as this, you can connect up to 200 smart devices to this Wi-Fi router, which is really awesome. But let's move in to the number one spot. This is the Cosmore Smart Air Purifier. Now, because we're in the pandemic, we try to limit people coming over as much as possible, but inevitably somebody's gonna come over or you need a handyman to fix something. And to reduce stress and anxiety for me, I have this air purifier. So when they walk in, wherever they are, I turn this thing on uh, and I turn it on high and it purifies the air with a legitimate HEPA filter. Now, not only do I use it for that, but I use it all the time. I cook a lot and in my apartment, my hood's not very good. So a little bit of the smoke, a little bit of the oil gets other places. And having this air purifier here, it actually sucks that out of the air and purifies it and freshens up the air. But the really awesome thing with this air purifier is it actually has a sensor in it that can sense and then show you on it through a little screen what the actual amount of pollution is in your air. So it will actually turn up and down with an auto mode. So if your air is really, really bad, it will show you, it'll have a little red ring around it and say your, your air quality is terrible. Um, and you can literally watch it decrease as this thing sucks up all of the bad stuff in the air. And again, I said, it's a legitimate HEPA filter in this thing that is replaceable and you can buy another one, but it lasts a very, very long time. And not only is it good for cooking and COVID, but if you have pets, if you just have a dusty environment, if maybe you have somebody else in your family that smokes, uh, this will pull all of that out of the air. It'll get stuck in the HEPA filter and it will make the air smell nicer. It literally makes it smell nicer and you can just breathe easier in and you are much, much healthier. A lot of times you don't really realize it's bad and then you put this thing there and it's like showing you that it's terrible and you leave it on for like an hour and then it shuts off or it goes down to the very low setting because of the auto feature and you just breathe nicer and you actually realize that the air was quite polluted before. But guys, again, if you wanna pick up any of the top five items in this video, there's Amazon links below for the US, UK and Canada. I hope you guys found one that will help you, will make your home a little bit smarter. I use these things on a daily basis and they help me a ton. I didn't wanna just do some gimmicky stuff like a lot of other people do on YouTube. I wanna do something that legitimately would help you throughout your day and make it just a little bit easier. When I walk in the door, I tell the Echo, turn on my light through a smart plug and a lamp that I bought at Walmart for like $6. And that is the beauty of this stuff. You can make this thing really, really budget and very premium still. But guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and it helped you out. If it did, help me out and throw a like below. But if you enjoy tech reviews, tech setups, gaming tech reviews, anything like that, I do a ton of those. So please consider subscribing below. And thank you for all the support. I know I say this every time, but seriously, you guys have been amazing. I'm doing this as a full-time job. I know a lot of you, uh, I told that I, I basically am doing this as a full-time job. I think I said that at 10,000 subs, but this is 100% my full-time job now. Uh, I used to live in my parents' house, but I'm fully on my own now in my own apartment doing this YouTube thing as a full-time job. So you're making my dream come true. This is absolutely what I would be doing uh, even if I was making nothing with it and didn't have enough to support myself. I'd figure it out. I'd be working at Walmart and then doing this in the night. So thank you guys for making my dream come true. Thank you guys for supporting it and enjoying these videos. And I really enjoy your recommendations uh, and I listen to every single one of them. You guys have been recommending uh, doing different, different doing keyboards and different monitors and mice and things like that. And I listen to every single one of you guys. I write it down. I have a huge list of stuff that I am going to review. And also, 
a few of you have talked about some of my sound quality and stuff, and I don't take offense when you say that. Uh, sometimes I don't realize it because I make so many videos, and if there's like a little bit of a hum, sometimes it slips by because I'm so busy, but thank you guys for all of that support and help with this. So I will see you guys in the next video. This was Consumer Tech Review, and I think I'm gonna say that twice because of the intro. Let me just redo it. This was Consumer Tech Review. See you guys later.